So let's just begin with the term paper. We'll open up our projects folder. We'll make a new folder. We'll give it a project prefix. All of the projects in the project folder get a prefix like this. And we'll just say finish term paper for history class. Okay. And we'll go ahead and double click that to open it. This project actually has a due date. And the way Ready, Set, Do handles due dates for projects is you just need to make a new folder, use the greater than sign, followed by the word due, and then you just give it a due date. So we'll just go ahead and put December 10th, hit enter. And there's two ways that Ready, Set, Do helps you get clear on projects. One is to use the get clear on projects script here using the icon. This will get to help you get clear on all of your projects. And another way is to use the Get Clear on Projects droplet, which is down here in your dock. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that because we just want to get clear on one project. Um, so we'll drag this folder on top of the Get Clear on Projects droplet. And Ready, Set, Do will help coach us through the questions we need to ask to get everything defined for this project. It's going to ask us whether we want to use audio. We're going to go ahead and say yes because we want to be coached through this process. It's the first time doing it. Project finish term paper for history class appears to be a new project. Are you ready to get clear on all of its components? We're going to go ahead and click yes. All right. Why is project finish term paper for history class being done? What is its primary purpose? Some of these questions at the beginning may not seem particularly relevant, and some may seem like it's just way too much work, but all of these questions are based on David Allen's Getting Things Done methodology. And when I first started out with projects, uh, I really missed all the importance of these questions. And uh, answering these questions is absolutely essential to getting clear on your projects and making sure that they, that they get done on time. So the primary purpose for this project is to get an A in this class. And you can just keep typing until you're done. We'll go ahead and click done. OK, let's set the standards for the project. You will give free reign of this project to others as long as they made sure. Standards has to do with the quality with which the project is done. Uh, you know, you may have the goal of finishing a term paper, but there are certain standards you may have for getting it done. Uh, you don't just want to turn in a term paper, you actually want to get an A on it. So there's certain things you need to do in order to make sure that happens. So make sure to do good research. Uh, let's see what else. Make sure to talk to the librarian for ideas and resources. Uh, make sure to discuss a few good topics with the teacher. made sure to write up a two-page summary of my initial plan, etc. So you can just keep writing these standards. We'll go ahead and click Done. OK, let's clarify the outcome vision for this project. And you know, we can just write down what success on this project would look like. I've got an A this paper. I can move on to other things. I've got good standing the teacher. Possible letter of recommendation. You know, you just keep keep writing things down on whatever the success is that, that it looks like to you. It may just be turning the paper in, but got other things you can go ahead and write them down. What new things would success on this project make possible? Uh, getting a good GPA. Getting into a good graduate school. So you can just keep writing these things down and it just captures them the way you're used to. This is how Ready, Set, Do works. So when you're done, you just leave it blank all and click right done. Now, let's get all of your ideas about this project out here. Everything you need to take into consideration that might affect the outcome. Remember to go for quantity, not quality. 
So here's where we pretty much start writing down the actions we need to take on this. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put some things down. Ask professor, teacher for some possible topics. Go to the library and look for some interesting books. Discuss my ideas. A few classmates. Talk to former students about what kinds of work this teacher tends to like. Etc. So you can just kind of keep going through here. Uh, develop thesis. Write a two page summary plan for my research. Write a rough draft. Turn in final copy. All right. Let's go through what you've got now and identify mission critical components, key milestones, and deliverables. Now search the project support file for any actionable elements and drag them into mission critical key milestones or deliverables. A lot of this is explained in some of the help material that comes with Ready, Set, Do. But the three folders, Mission Critical, Key Milestones, and Deliverables, the best way to think of them is these are the torpedo tubes that you put your actions into. And when you define their next actions, they get sent into your, your active system. Each of the items that goes into these folders becomes a new alias in your actionable folder that's linked to its original in, the, in your project. And that's pretty much how you stay hyperlinked between your on-the-ground tasks that you're working on and your sort of higher horizon here that allows you to sort of do more of your planning. So your project support folder serves as a place, a starting point for your, your actionable items and your non-actionable reference material for the project. Uh, and mission critical key milestones and deliverables serve as categories for dividing these actions. Each one of these folders is, is based on how you sequence or order the items. So mission critical has to do with sorting items by priority, Key milestones has to do with sorting items by sequence, you know, things that are dependent on others. You have to finish this first before this happens. And deliverables is pretty much anything that's left over and can be sorted however you want. So ask the teacher for some possible topics. Uh, that's something we're probably going to need to do first. Develop a thesis. That'll come later. That's part of a sequence. Discuss my ideas with a few classmates. I can do that right now. I'll just throw that in deliverables. Go to the library and find some interesting books. You can do that now. Talk to former students about what the teacher likes. I want to get an A on this, so this is critical. I've got to talk to some people, so I choose a topic that's good. Turn in the final copy. That's part of a sequence. Write a rough draft. That's part of a sequence. Write a two-page uh, summary. That's part of a sequence. All right, so we've got everything out, and we'll click Done. Organize the moving parts of the project. Bring all three windows forward. Then prioritize the moving parts by prefixing their file names with letters from A to Z. So Ready, Set, Do uh, sorts your files automatically for you with uh, letter prefixes. If there's a ton of items in here, it'll do it based on numbers from 0 to uh, 999. But uh, you can basically sort these based on the, the letter prefixes. So uh, you know, asking the teacher something we'll do first. Uh, the final copy is going to be something that comes last, so we can just type Z to knock that to the end. Uh, the two-page uh, summary plan is something we're going to need to do first uh, after we talk to the teacher, so we'll go ahead and put a C there. And uh, that's pretty much the sequence we're looking for. And what's nice is Ready, Set, Do will use these letter prefixes to ensure that all of the items that are the most important are the ones that you're working on first. So it Ready, Set, Do will maintain the sequence however you have these, these uh, prefixes set in your project. So go ahead and click Done. Now do you need more clarity or more action on project finished term paper for history class? 